Hi there. Uh, this video is to show the demo of how to create uh, an abstraction to bootstrapping new application uh, inside Kubernetes using Backstage and Argo CD. So I'm using the Kanoe uh, Internal Developer Platform for this lab. Um, I have another video explaining more about the Kanoe. Um, so it's a really interesting tool that we can uh, create an entire internal developer platform with one single command. So that's uh, fantastic. So the Canary have this uh, reference implementation that we have some backstage templates uh, in place. So let's check this one, this basic one. So basically, uh, this is a backstage uh, scaffolder template. One of the steps is creating the Argo CD uh, application uh, inside the cluster. Um, this is something that I'm changing in my lab because for production environment, I think that's more interesting we have the application being created using GitOps approach instead of apply it directly to the API server. For me, it makes it more resilient. So if someone delete your application on Argo CD or you need it to migrate from one cluster to another, you can basically point to the same place and the application will be created automatically if you use another approach like uh, FOP app or um, application set, for example. So this approach is the easier way to do because uh, after we template the application, uh, this is a, a custom action for the Kanoe that's basically behind the scene using the Kubernetes API to apply the Argo CD application. So I will show you how it works uh, in practice. And then I will show you the modifications that I did for make it GitOps, okay? Um, so basically, this is the reference template. Uh, let's create a new deployment. I will call as app1 and create. So it's rendering the template. It's pushing to a Git repository. And then it will apply the application uh, on Kubernetes to be available on Argo CD and it's ready. So if you search for app one, it's here, just created a few seconds ago, and we have this application running, okay? But as I mentioned, the problem is, um, this is not GitOps. So if I delete this application one, or if I have uh, more than one cluster that I need to use like a blue-green approach, um, I will not have this application uh, available anymore. So that's why I have created this uh, all, all other approach that's using the application set. So basically this application set, it's a, a component from Argo CD. It can monitor a path in the Git in the git structure so basically in this example it will search uh, all of those directories created under the UAT environment here and then we will apply this manifest to make the application available in, on the Argo CD so I have created this template for backstage scaffolder uh, basically, this template um, get the information, the ask for inputs for users in the UI. Uh, it rendered the the template, uh, open a pull request on the GitHub. So this way, we can have a chance to review our code before we go to production. So let's go to the demo. Um, bootstrap new application. I will call this app2 for UAT environment. Create. Uh, 
it's opening a pull request on git and I will run again to create the app tree okay so if I check my, my repository now I have two pull requests it's automatically created by backstage for the app 2 and app 3 and this pull request is adding the files uh, the app 2 uh, directory into the that same uh, directory that the application set, set is monitoring and basically it has a application yaml for uh, create the application on Argo CD catalog just for uh, information for the backstage catalog and it's a helm chart for the application it's just a nginx with hpa ingress service account deployment and so on um, i will complete this pull request let's merge oh let's merge this pull request And I will do the same for the app tree. Okay, both pull requests are completed. Uh, we can go back to the repo and see that now we have the app two and app three um, directory here with their Helm charts uh, inside. So basically the application uh, for Argo CD, for the app 2 and for the app 3 and the Helm chart for the <coughs> application inside the same structure. So now we just needed to wait the application set controller make a reconciliation, it can take up to three minutes that's the the full for the argo cd and then we will be able to see oh yeah so the application is already available on argo cd so we can have this app 2 and app 3 uh, available on argo cd and um, it's configured as gitops so as i mentioned if i delete this application app 2 Okay, it's deleted and now it's created automatically again because the application uh, set is monitoring the, the directory and realize that the application to still exists there and it was created again, okay?